who knew after years of not practicing, I still can't use it. Okay, straight up, to be completely honest, I have no idea what to do this week. For the last few days, I've been trying to think of a video idea to do this week, but my mind is completely blank. Nothing but smooth brain going on in here. I do have stuff planned where it involves a bit of prep. I need to wait for certain things to turn up before I can do them. So I thought instead of just posting no video at all this week, I would go ahead and read my cupboard of doom and pull out some instruments that we haven't tried in a long time. I think some of the instruments in there have been in there for over a year now since we first moved into the studio and they just haven't seen the light of day since since then. So it'd be good to brush the dust off them and see what they're all about all over again. Because you never know, there might be some hidden gems in there that I might want to use in the future. So I thought they deserve another chance, really, don't they? Now for the hardest part of the video, actually getting the instruments out of that cupboard because it's pretty stacked and quite messy in there. So this is going to be tricky. <sighs> okay. That was a massive faff. Now this isn't all the instruments that we've tried on the channel. There are still quite a lot in that cupboard, but I didn't want to pull all of them out because the table isn't big enough for that. And also I don't think I have enough time to be able to play all those instruments at the moment. So I just pulled out a select few that particularly interest me and I want to give another go. It's all just going to be a big mess of sound, I think. And I'm fine with that because that's a lot of fun for me. Wow, this video really has no structure at all. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, yes, the guitar that I've never played. <laughs> The guitar is definitely an instrument that I've always wanted to play since I was a kid and I got into rock music. I was like, oh yeah, guitarists, they're so cool. And the music sounds so good. I want to be able to play a guitar. And then I got a guitar as a kid and I completely fell out of love with it and I just couldn't get on board with it. And then just over a year ago, the guys who make this guitar said, can we send you one to do a video one? And I said, yeah, sure thing. And it was around that time that Ben moved away and I suddenly thought, oh no, he's the only one who can play guitar and I can't. How am I going to do this video? So I put off that video for as long as possible, but I kept getting emails being like, when's this video gonna come out? And they just got very, very impatient, which is understandable. They did send me a product to do a video on it and I wasn't doing it because I thought I'm not gonna be able to do it justice because I have no idea what I'm doing. So then eventually I just went, fine, I'll do this video. I'm just gonna do it with me and let's see how it goes. And it was absolute shambles. I had no idea what I was doing. I couldn't really play it. I, I don't think I even tuned it well enough. And it's definitely now one of the videos that I regret the most. I really wish that I had actually spent some time to learn how to play it before doing the video, but I've learned from my mistakes and hopefully it never happens again, though I'm pretty sure it will. But now you might be wondering, since then, have you learned anything more with the guitar? No. No, I haven't. And that's definitely not going to stop me from jamming on this guitar right now. I apologize to you guitarists out there. This is going to hurt. I know what song you guys are here for. I had fun. It's funny that once I was told that I looked like I knew how to play guitar. Oh, how wrong they were. Remind me why we get me to do the musical instrument videos. Next up, we have an instrument that I really enjoyed, but there's not really much you can do with it. It is the Gopi Chund or Ektara or whatever you want to call it. It's a very fun one stringed instrument that has a very unique sound, but it's only really one note you can get and then you can sort of whammy it with the neck. But the sound it does make, I do very much enjoy. It's a fun sound and I very much enjoy it, but I haven't really found much use for it. But I kind of want to know what will happen if we do the same thing that we do with a lot of other instruments and that's strap a microphone to it and then run it through some pedals. It could be interesting, but it also could sound terrible, but that's part of the fun. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's just with a bit of overdrive on, but let's add some delay, shall we? God damn, there's so many wires down here. I'm so glad that you guys can't see it. Up here, all nice and clean. Down there, absolute train wreck. <laughs> This thing has suddenly turned into a very good percussion instrument. I've come to realize that if you strap effects pedals to any instrument, it's gonna sound a bit weird, it's gonna sound mysterious, it's gonna sound good, in my opinion. And this guy right here is no exception. It sounds really mysterious, it sounds very atmospheric, I really like it. I can definitely see me using it again in a future video. It's good to know that despite this instrument producing quite a simple sound, you can make it a lot more complex when you use something like this. Also, to the people who have asked in the comments what I use to attach instruments to effects pedals, it is basically just a microphone that I tape onto the instrument and it runs into an effects pedal and it's that simple. As to which microphone I use specifically, I have no idea. I actually took this one from an electric kazoo which I bought a couple of years back and I've just been using it for this and it works absolutely fine. I'm sure you can get better quality microphones, I'm sure this is definitely not top of the range, but for what I use it for, it definitely does the trick. Now well, which instrument do we go for next? Let's go for the Monotron Delay. Now this little guy is something that I've really wanted to use in more videos but I just really haven't had an opportunity to. It's a really good little noise maker. It fits in the palm of your hand, fits in your pocket, it's really small. And because I haven't had a chance to use it in a video recently, I really am quite looking forward to playing it again because I definitely want to use it again. Because if I remember correctly, it sounds amazing, but knowing me, it probably doesn't sound as good as I remember. But let's find out, fingers crossed, it's just as good as I remember. Oh God, my ears are gonna be in so much pain after this video. <laughs> I don't expect to be making so much noise today. This is ridiculous. Despite being such a tiny little synthesizer, this thing packs a true punch. It's just such a noisy device and you can use it in a bit more civilized manner than how I just did. But either way, if you're looking for that spacey, noisy vibe, this thing is definitely good for you. And it's also not that expensive. I think it's about 45 quid when I picked it up. So really good find.
Okay, I kind of ran out of time over the weekend, so I had to cut the filming short, but we're back just to check out a couple more things, and then we'll nicely wrap this video up. Now, this next thing isn't a musical instrument, but it is definitely an instrument of destruction. So I think it still counts. And I think it's been about two or three years since we did a video on this thing, and it was one of our most popular videos to date. So I think it's worth checking out again, especially as the first video wasn't exactly smooth sailing. This is, of course, the... Oh God, I'm even kind of scared to just to pull it out of the box. The Extendable Staff. Oh God, I'm getting flashbacks already. Don't point it towards your face. Definitely don't point it towards your face. Now, when we did our original video on this thing, we called it a magic trick, which is how it was sold to us on the Amazon listing. But a lot of people in the comments were telling us that this thing isn't a magic trick, it is a weapon. And also in those comments, people were telling me how I was using it wrong. So now I'm gonna try and use it correctly, though I am still very much intimidated by it. So let's see how this goes. I have a feeling it's gonna go terribly. But this time, at the very least, I've brought some basic ass gloves. Even if these don't give me adequate protection, at least I'll feel safer. And that's really what matters, isn't it? So where I was going wrong before is that I was pushing the top down and then pulling the pin out. But what you're meant to do is push it down and then let the pin fall out and then you throw it. And it's meant to be a little bit more seamless. But to be honest, this thing is kind of buggered. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but one way to find out. So push, the thing go down. Okay, this is definitely a poor choice of gloves for this, but I think I've got it. Who knew, after years of not practicing, I still can't use it. Okay, now how do I retract this? I think I'm gonna give it one more go with a glove and then if that goes well, then I'll go gloveless, which sounds a bit risky, but I'll give it a go. All right, I've got to throw it and then catch it. One, two, three. Ah, oh, I didn't catch it. It landed on the table though. That's a start. Okay, this is a lot easier than I remember. Now I know what I'm doing, it's much better. It's time for the big moment. The gloves are off. And yes, if you were wondering, I am wearing shorts with a jumper and a hat on. I didn't choose to be this stylish, it just happened. Don't let the staff scare you. The staff is your The last thing I wanna do is get my fat fingers in front of this finger ass. It's gonna cut me. Or oh, it's slipping in my hands. I'm sweating with anticipation, or is it fear? Not optimum, as I didn't catch it afterwards, but it did definitely work. Ah, damn it. That was closer. Okay, give me that. You have to have godlike reflexes, and that's something I don't have. He's just gone and bloody done it. Oh, it's all you people out there who said I wouldn't achieve anything. Look at me now. Ha <laughs> ha. I did a thing. If that's not a good representation of how far we've come as a channel, I don't know what is. And unfortunately, that also took longer than I expected. So I'm actually going to have to wrap the video up here. This has actually been quite a good trip down memory lane. It's a bit of a shame that I didn't manage to get to everything that I wanted to. But I have been thinking of doing this idea again, but in the form of a live stream. So you get like a raw, uncut version, which might be great, but also might be absolutely horrendous but I do want to give it a go so if you like that idea go ahead and leave a comment down below and it'll give us an idea of how many people actually want to see that and who knows maybe it'll actually happen why am I struggling so much to get this thing back together now <coughs> oh. and with that I think that's gonna be it for another edition of looted shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, Luna, George Acock, Luke Rees and Chance McTire on Patreon thank you very much for your support and if you like this video hit like if you like all our videos hit subscribe we've got more videos on the way if you want to support the channel further check out the link in the description to our Patreon page where we are now kind of uploading monthly exclusive content though I am kind of falling behind on it but I'm trying my best <laughs> bear with me join us on our discord server and I'll see you guys in the next one have a good one